New at 10, one year after a police chase killed an innocent woman in Maywood. Tonight, the victim's family is calling on the department for some answers. CBS News' Charlie Lamar has the video you'll only see on two. Charlie. And Brad, good evening. This chase started from a relatively minor traffic violation. That is why family of the loved one who died in this crash says it was all avoidable. And tonight, they are accusing the Maywood Police Department of not following its own policy when it comes to crashes. June 2019 dash cam video from a Maywood police cruiser shows a black GMC terrain speeding, making a right turn in front of a Maywood police officer. Other officers are also giving chase the car on the run, hitting speeds up to 75 miles per hour on residential streets, wanted for disobeying a traffic sign. The impact was so hard. They hit her so hard. They knocked her into the house. All right, just crash, just crash. The chase ended in a violent crash at first in Randolph and Maywood. At least two people are seen running from the car that hit and killed Ruthie Johnson, who was a passenger in this car, simply trying to turn. It's a year and we're still in other disbelief. This week marks a year since the crash. She'll never be forgotten. She's forever in our hearts. She's a great artist. Poet. Ruthie's sister, Paula Ali Johnson, isn't satisfied with the handling of the case. She's filed a lawsuit in part against Maywood and the officers involved, accusing the department of failing to follow its own chase policy. We want everyone involved to be held accountable, and that includes the police. They know what they did. The complaint accuses the officers of having no evidence or reason to start a high-speed chase. Remember, it started because of a traffic violation, not some violent crime, adding that no supervisor was ever told about it and only a supervisor can give the green light to begin a pursuit. They're hiding something. They're trying to cover up. We want answers and we want them now. We want justice for her now. The police chief says that two juveniles were questioned in this case, but no charges have ever been brought. The village has hired an outside private investigator to take another look at this case. That is still ongoing. This case very much under investigation. As for the family, they are asking state's attorney Kim Fox to take another look at this case. They plan on revisiting the crime scene this weekend for a vigil. We are live in Maywood. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charlie.